We started our journey to Stonehenge traveling through the beautiful port towns of Portland and Weymouth. Weymouth Marina is the home to a variety of exquisite yachts and boats. King George III often took holidays in Weymouth. He was originally sent there to recover from illness, and by his many visits to the town he helped to change the town's fortune. Weymouth decided to show its appreciation to the king by building this statue. Built in 1888, the Jubilee Clock Tower in Weymouth celebrates the first 50 years of Queen Victoria's reign. I like pretty churches, so I took a picture of this. After leaving Weymouth, we had a nice drive through the countryside for about an hour or so. The roads were very narrow, so we had a few close calls. The spire in the distance belongs to Salisbury Cathedral. After finally arriving at Stonehenge, we had the option to take the bus from the visitor center, walk along the road, or cut through a cow pasture and walk alongside the Cursus Barrows. I elected to visit the Barrows, which are burial mounds that predate the ancient Stonehenge by a thousand years. That's what our tour guide said on the bus ride, and I'm not questioning her. The field is currently in use, so you need to be careful and give a wide berth to any cows that you see. For those of you that are as directionally challenged as myself, you don't need to worry about getting lost. The grass is mown down carefully for the correct pathway, so you would need to work really hard to get lost. I thought these little yellow flowers all over the field were simply lovely, so I had to have a picture. It actually turns out that they are weed that are bad for cows, but good for bees. Finally, I was able to see Stonehenge in the distance, and I was a happy girl. Almost everyone has seen Stonehenge, so I'll limit myself to just this one short little 360 degree video of it. With the visit over, our bus started the long trek back to Portland. It was a productive ride though. I found another pretty church. 